I mean, what makes it special is the fact that you're preparing that meal that you love in a home that was loved for so many years by probably the most important American in food, Mr. James Beard. Recently, I had the honor to cook again at the James Beard house. And guess what? I made fried chicken. And I know Mr. Beard would have been proud of the fact that I made fried chicken. And being there, I had seen a metamorphosis of the kitchen. I mean, the house is very much intact as it was when I first cooked there 15, 20 years ago. That charming little row house has a lot of interesting things about it. What I love about it is you come into that little foyer and you kind of tiny. You think, oh my goodness, how did they get all these people in here? And you go into this amazing small kitchen and you're thinking, how do they cook all this food in here? For me, um, learning about James Beard was learning about the people that James Beard actually touched. Mr. Beard had a beloved man of many years who watched over him named Clay. And one of the things I remember most about when I walked in that house was that Clay greeted you. Recently, Clay passed away, and that was one of the things I missed most about the house. I missed that sweet man greeting you. You know, the soul of the house is the kitchen, but it's the people. And it's wonderful, and something that we can also keep in mind, is that we as people have much greater effect on others.